Hello class, I wanted to help you with the first two problems of your 3-2 uh, homework assignment or your stat lab assignment. Uh, the first question asks you to compute the critical value, it looks like z sub alpha over 2, um, that corresponds to an 80% level of confidence. Um, you can use the tables in the back of your book to help with this. Um, you can also use stat crunch. If I click question help stat crunch, uh, stat, I'm going to look to calculators, normal, and so this says um, alpha over 2, so we really need to look for the area between two values, and I'm going to change this, I believe it was an 80%, 0.80, let's just double check, yeah, 80% level of confidence, uh, I press compute, and I'm going to take the positive. I'm going to enter the 1.28 uh, as my value here. Let's see, 1.28. I press check answer, and I get a fantastic job. Uh, the next question asks me to determine the point estimate uh, of the population proportion, and they give us some information here. Um, so to, to come up with the the point estimate, I really need to add the lower and upper bound of my confidence interval and then divide by two. That will give me the value that's in the middle. Um, because the value that's in the middle plus one standard error will give me my upper bound. Uh, the value in the middle minus the standard error will give me the lower bound. Um, so if I add these two numbers, let's get my calculator. I will do the 0.175 plus 0 0.405, press enter, divide that by 2, and that should give me a value that's right smack in the middle of my upper and lower bound. Uh, so it says round to the nearest thousand. I check answer, we get the well done. So the, the value that's in the middle here is 0.29, so the margin of error would be um, 0.29 plus the margin of error will give me my upper bound. 0.29 minus the margin of error will give me my lower bound. So if I take my calculator out, let's say I use my upper bound, the 0.405, and I subtract 0.29, that difference should be my, my margin of error. Let's see, 0.115. I press enter, and I get an excellent. Okay, and then the last part, it says uh, the number of individuals in the sample with the specified uh, characteristics. So if there are 1,200 uh, individuals, um, we can say that 29% of the 1,200 have this characteristic. So if I multiply the 1,200, right, my N was 1,200, times 0.29, I think of that as 29%, we would say uh, 348 individuals have this characteristic. And I get the next question, nice work. So that's questions one and two, I hope that helps.